in my last Western Wanderlust video, I mentioned the beauty of Red Canyon. What I didn't mention is all the planning that goes into these uh, trips that I take so that I can make every minute count. And that really paid off because in that video I mentioned and showed the huge Pacific storm that was going to move into the high country of Utah and particularly Bryce Canyon. Bryce Canyon is over 8,000 feet high, so it's particularly impacted by stormy weather. The visitor center is about 7,894 feet high in Bryce, and some of the points are over 8,000 feet. So I knew if I was going to get up here before the uh, park got snowed in, I needed to make the time count. So I'm including this little excerpt on an, from another video of mine that's showing the planning that goes in to knowing where to go and where to shoot photos from. Well, these are just a few of the maps. I actually have a whole other bundle of the maps that I used uh, for uh, the last month and a half photo expedition that uh, I took uh, um, in, in spring into early summer. And uh, I wanted to show you that the maps really do have highlighting on them. I practice what I preach as far as making the navigation easy. Also for some of these for photography over here that uh, they have scenic photography points mapped out in advance. Uh, so that I can really utilize the time when I'm at these parks and these locations. So there's a lot of work in the scouting for a uh, photo expedition. But again, um, this is just a partial viewing of what I took with me. And uh, so you get the idea. I wanted to mention uh, briefly, and I will cover this in another video, that the national parks have several different maps available for each one of them. And basically, at uh, Bryce Canyon... There are four locations that were on my must-hit list. One was Bryce Point, Inspiration Point, Sunset Point, and Sunrise Point. I actually thought that the views at Bryce Point were the best. I did make a brief um, foray up to Peria Point or Peria View, and at that point, the snowflakes were already starting to come down, so I decided it was time to leave and head out uh, to try to get out of the highest country here because I knew I had to go over the pass to get back to uh, Cedar City, Utah. So please enjoy this. I'm going to try to just show uh, some of the clips that I captured, some of the photos, and I really uh, spent most of the time where I enjoyed it the most, and that was Bryce Point. Bryce Point has the rim trail, and I tried to spend as much time hiking the rim trail as I could. It actually runs between all the four points that I mentioned, Bryce Point, Inspiration Point, Sunset Point, and Sunrise Point. Bryce Canyon is not one single canyon. There are these bowls that are full of hoodoos and the stream beds and just the, all the beautiful scenery. Uh, the amphitheater is just gorgeous, and that can be probably seen best either from Inspiration Point or Sunset Point, but the Rim Trail is really a requirement if you have the time. Unfortunately, I did as much as I could, but I was already starting to watch the weather come in and have an occasional snowflake already coming down. I did not uh, want to get stuck in Bryce Canyon. history near uh, Peria Point, and that's the area that Ebenezer and uh, Mary Bryce settled in. That's where they homesteaded. 
and there's a plaque or a sign that shows and tells a little bit about their story. Uh, Ebenezer was a shipwright and is not known so much for his homestead cabin that they built, but the church that he was involved with building. It was made like an upside down ship using all his shipbuilding skills. It was built to withstand all the storms and winter uh, weather that uh, Mother Nature could throw at him. He was called a serial homesteader and moved 12 times in their marriage, but it's all explained in this little plaque, and that's uh, the area that, or Bryce Canyon, that he homesteaded was near Peria Point. Just a little bit of history uh, for those of you that are interested in uh, Utah and its settlement. Uh, later, they ended up in Arizona, but uh, they actually moved 12 times. Quite a story. Coming up in my next video is the adventure if I want to call it that, that I had trying to escape Hatch, Utah. And part of it was weather. Part of it was an issue with my truck. And part of it is hard to explain. But that'll be in the next video. Thank you very much for watching. We really appreciate it.